night guys okay so today I'm doing a video on how to make an altar in your bedroom or your home when you don't have a lot of space so if you have really limited space or if you just want a really private altar that you can put up and take down really easily um, if you're not like comfortable practicing out in the open um, I'm gonna show you a makeshift way in a cheap way to make a really cute altar when you don't have a lot of space or privacy okay so first I'm gonna start off by showing you some of the things that um, you can get for your makeshift altar and you can probably find most of the stuff at the Dollar Tree or Walmart and if you have a crystal on hand already then um, wherever you find your crystals and stuff like that uh, if not you can use a seashells so it doesn't matter okay so first off I'm gonna show you some of the things you can use um, just get yourself any candle you can decorate it however you like or just a plain candle maybe two some incense from wherever you get your incense like I said Dollar Tree Walmart sells incense um, I think I got this one from like a little Indian store I don't this is the name of it if you're curious but you can use any type of incense um, an incense burner of course I got this one at Walmart for like two dollars um, then you can get one of your essential oils or just the fragrance oil or whatever type of oil you use um, if you like using oils to anoint and then like I said a seashell if you don't have a crystal and then a lighter and a glass of water so where where should you put your altar you know you don't want people looking at it if you want to take it down as easy as it can go up I'm gonna show you a trick bear with me okay excuse there's not like any good lighting here except the daylight lighting <laughs> so here it is check it out Bam your window seal. Now I'm on the floor in my bedroom and look at my beautiful view. I have like a beautiful uh, purple myrtle tree right there and you can see the purple flowers on the ground. Let me get you closer so that you can see, you know, the detail. Okay, don't look at the dirt outside, but <laughs> it's really pretty and it's very, you know, nature-esque and earthy. And if you can't go outside all the time to meditate because you don't live like where there's a lot of, you know, open space, you could do this like on a window seal. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you out. Okay, there. So how to set it up. <clears throat> you get your glass of water for, you know, water, the element of water. Um, you get your candles. You can put one on each side and maybe put the water here however you like to arrange your stuff I hope that you can see this and the lighting is not terrible uh, then you can get your incense burner stick it there grab one of your incense out put it in there and get your crystal your seashell and if you like work with the god or goddess you can get like a small statue or a picture that represents your god or goddess this like this. there you go and get you some oil like if you want to bless some oil or anoint some oil or just have your oil on your altar for you know when you're using it just stick your oil somewhere doesn't matter and sorry if you want to meditate get your phone put some meditation music on and light your incense for fire and air or air you can use the candles for fire earth is the crystal and then water so you have earth air and fire and water represented on your altar on your window now make sure you don't have any like curtains in the way and your blinds are way up because you don't want the candles to catch anything on fire <laughs> So here we go. You have a quick, less than five minute window altar where you can meditate. And you can keep all this stuff in a little shoebox. Like it fits 
in a shoebox or a smaller or a little drawer and you don't have to worry about you know leaving it up because you can take it right down close your blinds and close your window and this is a really nice place to sit meditate focus on your intentions manifest and like if you open your window here's an offering stone that um, you can make out of salt dough I think I have a tutorial on how to make these but uh, you just put your offering stone out you can throw it outside your window if you open your window or just set it there for you know if you work with gods goddesses fairies spirits or whatever you can even put a little food on here candy but I don't want to attract any ants so I'm using the salt dough so here we are a really beautiful makeshift quick shoebox window seal altar that you can do in five minutes with a little less than ten dollars depending on where you shop so I would play some meditation music for you but you know YouTube is like a stickler on copyright so you can just go and do your chants like mm, oh oh however you do <laughs> I, I like to play music because music is very vibrational. You could sit here and beat a drum or do a singing bowl. A singing bowl would go really nice on this makeshift altar. Um, <clears throat> you can also like put the oil, essential oil in your candle for more fragrance or intention. This is patchouli by the way, one of my favorites. So you can put that on there or you can rub some on your incense as well to have a more patchouli smell your crystal is also getting a charge in the sun as well so you're actually uh, killing well I don't like to say killing birds but you're actually multitasking <laughs> in your work and it's also being charged on your altar with your intentions so um, this is also perfect like at night when you can't uh, get outside and you want to like do like a moon ritual or something you can get on your window seal and where you can have the sky you can see the moon and see even though neighbors are there they can't they're not looking down inside my window because I'm on the floor and you can get yourself a really nice pillow and a blanket and get comfy in front of your little window seal if you have a window seal on your floor anywhere in your house it doesn't matter it can be like um when no one's home, if you live with some, someone in your, uh, in your living room, in your dining room, and just pack this stuff away in a shoebox when you're done and leave it at that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this idea and you're going to try it, please thumbs up and let me know. I really would love to see your little window altar. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all, for the camera action but uh, I'm feeling like a fairy princess today in my little hippie garb I'm just chilling um, so yeah I would like to see if y'all would do a window altar and